I started a clothing company. In this video, I wanna break down how I started a clothing company in a weekend and how we got our first sale within six days of starting, hopefully in a lot of detail. Here's the shirt, by the way. Whoahello.com is where it all is. These are a lot of videos from Instagram, so expect a lot of vertical videos coming up now. Here's how I started Whoa Hello. I promised I would stop working on the weekend, but I'm excited about this, so here. I changed the name, I think it's gonna be called Whoa Hello, and I set up this storefront. I got some designs here. I don't follow fashion. Nothing's final here, this is all probably gonna change. It's just cool to see it come together. The only thing that needs to change is this price is probably gonna go up to 75 bucks. We're trying to hit high-end $50 t-shirts, you know? And check out this about page. High fashion is for chumps. This is low fashion. It started simple enough. I wanted to mess around with Facebook ads and learn a little bit about how to sell e-commerce. And it started with me wanting to sell my art and I used Teespring because it was easy in theory. I'll tell you what went wrong with Teespring in a second. Today, I'm messing around with Facebook ads. I realized I was sitting around waiting for art, but I had a couple paintings already done, so here's what I put together today. I have this sweater on Teespring, and I wrote some copy. I'm pushing about $30 worth of Facebook ads to it, and we'll see how we do. I tried to write copy like that catalog from Seinfeld that Elaine worked for. I was in Shenzhen, China, a city known as the art forgery capital. The artists here have reproduced thousands of paintings from creators like Van Gogh. Then I created a simple logo. The company originally started out named Holy Wow. Facebook's still reviewing. I'm doing an ad spend of $7.50 a day for the next few days to add up to $30. So the next four days. And yeah, we'll just kind of see. I want to show you this. This is the logo for the fashion brand I came up with. And the initial ad push didn't do very well. Here's an update on the ads. We got 591 impressions. It's been about six bucks so far. Uh, not that many clicks, only 12 people clicked through, no sales yet. So I designed a couple new sweaters and other pieces of clothing based on some stuff that I saw at a high-end fashion store called Barney's in Las Vegas. And I figured it was the design that maybe was throwing people off. This is Arshel Gorky. He's been hailed as one of the most powerful painters of the 20th century, and he said, abstraction allows man to see with his mind what he cannot see physically with his eyes. So I said, see with your mind. Didn't have the best luck with Facebook ads, at least initially. So we'll see. We'll see how it does. I've spent about $11. I like to think of it as people walking into the retail store. So we got 20 people walking in total, and no sales, and that's fine for now. Um, also, I got to try on Calm Digger Song last night. Here we got the three ads running. Click through rate is there. Cost per click, cost per impression, and then return on ad spend. If I had some. Then my friend Fernando Avila sent me this video from Virgil Abloh. He's the founder of Off White, which apparently is the company that created that sweater that I copied. And I highly recommend this talk. I'm trying to get him on the podcast as well. He has a couple different rules that he follows. One is the 3% rule, which is any creation you make, only edit it 3% and don't touch it after that because we're trying to create that moment of insight and keep that moment of insight. And a lot of that is lost in the editing process. The other big thing about Virgil is he is a DJ, he's a fashion designer, he designed shoes for Nike, he designed furniture for Ikea. He also talks about this in the talk. The way he gets these opportunities is by reaching out. He cold emailed Nike and they let him design a shoe. He cold emailed Ikea and they let him design furniture and that's just incredibly inspirational. On the weekend I had an insight and after watching that Virgil Abloh video, I tore down everything that I had built the few days previous and created whoahello.com. And I created new Facebook ads to match the new brand. The next day, which was Monday, I was talking about it constantly on Instagram and people started giving me feedback on the business as it stood currently. I was using Teespring completely. I, it didn't even have a custom domain. It was like whoahello.teespring.com, something like that. I love this feedback from you guys so far. You know, one, one comment was basically, Alex, why are you using Teespring for your shirt designs? What are you You should use Printful. 
and I responded back, you know what, Printful sounds amazing, I might use that. I'm really loving this thing that I've been doing recently of like launching half-assed or half-planned ideas and then letting the audience course correct because they think I'm dumb. It's, it's been great for business so far, it's actually super cool. And he was right, so I built the site again on Printful integrated with Shopify, which should lead to higher quality designs. And to celebrate the new site, I ran a new series of ads. New Whoa Hello site is built, got new ads running, I'm putting 30 bucks behind this testing, and we'll see how we do. Pantelis said he wanted to jump in and do a couple ads too, so hopefully we can get our first sale. Script is reviewed, let's do another ad test. So here's where I am. I'm doing just the Basquiat shirt. The scribbles are Twombly-esque and the face is abstract, reminiscent of John michel Basquiat. I love this shirt. Did I make up that quote? Of course. I just started. Anyway, here are the other ads. I want a t-shirt that truly reflects what I look like at 3 a.m. Continuing with our quote series. This is my new favorite whoa hello. Tag a friend who needs to see this. And then I went to Barney's and saw how they were selling their shirts. This cotton t-shirt features an original portrait with red highlights and Wohello's signature calligraphic scribble. That's describing it more like an art piece, talking more like it. And in that same vein, black cotton jersey t-shirt printed at the front with a limited edition Wohello portrait, white on red. Let's see if those do better. And then I went over to Barney's.com and looked at how they sell their shirts. They describe every shirt like a work of art. So I went through and rewrote the copy on the Wohello site as well. All right, this is the last whoa hello update for today. I read a copy of the actual page itself too. Black cotton jersey t-shirt is printed at the front with a multicolored original portrait. This peach features whoa hello signature red and white, signature red and white calligraphic scribbles featuring an original portrait by whoa hello, rib knit crew neck pulls over available in black, 100% cotton machine wash made in America. That's it, last update. Then I talked to my little brother who buys t-shirts. Mostly I just wear blank t-shirts that are black American apparels. So he buys t-shirts and he told me that my prices were insane. I was charging like 60 bucks a shirt, which is great for the high-end fashion market. But he was saying if I wanted to sell shirts to people like him, to DJs and younger people, I should probably price them lower. So I asked him what price, he said like $32.99 would be good. So I dropped the pricing on everything to $32.99. I know yesterday it was all whoa hello. So I'm gonna try not to talk about it too much today. I added one new item, the one I posted to my feed, and I lowered all of our prices to something more reasonable. Instead of $60, now it's 40. I'm drawn to it, but at some point I do have to let it sit and just kind of let these ads go. We've got two Facebook ads running and we'll see if people buy. I don't wanna to get too committed to this. Then over that night and the next day, I designed a couple more shirts and I had the insight again from Virgil Abloh, which number two, number one was edit 3%. Number two is create a signature. According to Virgil, more important than the artistic quality of the work, which I'm not a trained artist, as you can tell here. More important than that is the ability to easily tell that this specific piece of work is from a specific artist. And so here's this insight. Besides that, I'm working on Whoa Hello. We launched the new shirt. I've got kind of an artistic style, which Virgil Abloh said was extremely important. It's like, even if you don't have a style, just make one up, make a signature up. And that's what we're trying to do. The having a signature thing is super important. Check these out. This is the four shirts. These are the four shirts we have on Whoa Hello right now. And they all look like they're from the same artist. I don't think I've ever drawn four pieces that looked similar before. Then I got the shirts that I ordered on Sunday from Teespring, and I wasn't really impressed with the quality of most of them. The shirts are here. We've got this monster. This, I changed my supplier on this one. This is bad. And then this one also, I'm glad we changed suppliers on this too. This isn't too good, but this one's great. Which is why I'm glad we switched over to Printful. So thanks a lot for the advice there. The guy who gave me the advice about Printful and Shopify his name is Mohammed Cho Kerry. Hopefully I pronounced that right. So I'm glad I switched suppliers, but I was just happy to be wearing the shirts. Had three Lorelia calls today. Two went good and got the shirts. Woo, successful day. I posted me wearing this shirt up on the Instagram. I was happy. 
And then Jack's business, who's a consulting client, posted a few comments. We went back and forth, and I'll put those up here. And he bought a shirt, and we got our first sale. First shirt sale. Woohoo! Jack Randall. Thanks, dude. So that's where we are with Whoa Hello. If you want to check out the shirts, that is over at wohello.com. We'll put the URL down in the description, but also on screen. If you found value in this video, I'd love if you would share it with a friend who could also get value from it. If you want more clients for your digital agency, you want to meet with billion dollar brands, check out experiment27.com. That's what we do all day. And if you want free stuff, for instance, the proposal that we use for our agency, Aurelia Pictures, we make documentaries, that is over at experiment27.com slash proposal. And there's a ton more free stuff in the description below. If you wanted to grab a shirt as well, we get a ton of good designs on there. That's wohello.com. Hopefully you like them. This is the official Alex Berman merch as of right now. Alex Berman, thanks for watching.